hey specials good morning welcome back again to my channel if you're seeing me for the first time i am married to Tonwa, a mommy youtuber based in Abbey state nigeria merry christmas and a prosperous new year in advance to you all you guys it has been a wonderful year even though to some it has been a somehow year but yeah we thank god for life we thank god for everything welcome to my channel if you're stopping by for the first time thank you so much do hit the red subscribe button hit the notification bells like and share the video and of course you're going to enjoy it here you are going to definitely enjoy it here without much talking let's head over to the main welcome back so in today's video you guys i want to be telling you things that 2021 has taught me things 20 not in marriage yeah but in life things 2021 has taught me and i wrote them down here on this jota i'll be reading them out and we all will be analyzing it together so there are a lot of things that came with 2021 to me it came as a knowledge like these things i want to mention are the things that i didn't take serious i didn't take them serious but now with the happenings or with everything that happened this year i have come to acknowledge those things in life see there are some years that will come by and that year will just come and go and there are some years that will come in our life it will be a year full of experience so i want to tell you guys the things i've learned in 2021 and the number one on my list guys is in akomoko and the number one on my list is patience guys i had to put patience at the top of the list because guys hmm, i have been patient enough when i mean patient i mean patient enough now i am that city girl that grew up in the city yes my family my dad my mom we they raised us in the village like in my father's village but that village is in the city i don't know if you get it there are some villages that that are in the city you get so i was born and raised in the village now going to school i went to school in onesha there is this um private polytechnic that is called um bookingham poly bookingham management bookingham polytechnic of management and technology in ogidi so you guys you can see all the rest of my life i spent it in the village now marriage brought me back to the village when i mean village i mean guys village like the compound that i am married into are filled with village people i'm not trying to insult anyone but the compound itself is filled with village people with village mentality that even when you start to say some certain things or maybe when you expect some certain things it will be like ha now wow where is this one coming from but you yourself you know what you want you know what you're saying but realizing that uh, you are in the midst of people who doesn't care apart from hobby you still have to make there is this saying that my mom used to say when you go to the room you behave like a roman i don't know if i got it but i know you know what i'm, I'm trying to say so yeah i have been so patient enough what i'm trying to say is that hobby promised me that after our wedding and honeymoon that we are going to relocate to the town and i agreed so after the whole thing i got pregnant with my first son and then his father said he should bring me to the village like we should come straight from the honeymoon to the village so that he can know me there are some certain things i needed to do as a newlywed as a new wife and the family that i should do being the first wife of the first son and the family that i needed to do those things so hobby brought me back and that was how it all started we started living our lives in the village so you guys each year that passes by i do tell this man that honey why why 
you know i am not meant you know i wasn't born into such things you know i wasn't raised like this why are you subjecting me into doing what i don't want to do but he will still be like honey please have patience honey please be patient and being the man that i love i still had to obey but i can tell you i can beat my chest now and tell you guys that that whole thing has finally paid off yes it has finally paid off and i am happy i had that patience i am happy that i didn't create um i didn't create um something negative in my husband's head i was happy that um, i was patient enough up till this moment that big thing is happening so you guys patience is the number one thing this year has taught me the second thing on my list is being kind when i say being kind i don't mean being just kind to the people you love i mean being kind to everybody in general i am telling you i have experienced a lot in this compound and in this village so being kind to everybody pays off it is really even if it doesn't pay you it will it will surely pay your kids it will surely pay your grandchildren somebody somewhere will remember you for being kind to him or her and they will want to help be also and they will also want to be kind to your offspring yes you don't have to be kind to people you love just be kind to everybody be kind to everybody your kindness doesn't have to have limits it just have to be general you have to be kind to everybody see i don't want to be telling you a lot of stories and um, pertaining my life here but i just have to tell you that if you are kind to everybody it will surely pay off one day the third on my list is vanity hmm. you guys vanity everything is vanity i know you know where i'll be heading to when i say vanity I lost my mom this year. God bless her soul. She has also been buried. Now, you guys, everything is vanity. My mom is somebody that... Okay, I know she's my mom. And you don't expect me to speak bad of my mom. But she is somebody I want to try to emulate her life. My mom is a neutral person. She believes in there is always a tomorrow. Now, my mom is that kind of person that if she gets 500 Naira today, she wouldn't want to finish it today. She would want to spend 50 Naira today out of that 500. Knowing that there is still tomorrow to spend, you wouldn't know what tomorrow will bring. She will always tell you, you get. Now, even after all these things, she died and when see when you go through the burial ground that place that a body will be laid guys you will know that this whole thing is just nothing you are going with nothing your gold wrist watch your wrapper your turkey gown your u.s clothes everything all the hairs you have nothing will be added to you you are just going alone so everything is vanity you don't have to kill yourself because of a particular thing iphone 13 after that you want to choke yourself you want to sleep with god everything is vanity if you don't know that up until this moment please everything is vanity it's vanity this chain i bought it this week from jumia if you guys ignore if my creator if my maker decides to visit me today they won't even put i won't remember this thing i won't remember these glasses i won't even remember this hair how many me human they will just sew a white gown for me and just place me on a gown everything is vanity you don't have to do an undo or the undo or something abominable just to measure up enjoy your life oh. hustle and make money you don't have to die a poor man yes but you don't have to die losing your soul and also losing it in heaven 
if you know that thing that is right in the sight and the eyes of man and God, do it. If you know that thing you will do and you will not be, you will have, you'll be having sleepless nights. Don't do it. But if you know that thing you will do and you will sleep like a baby, you'll be like, I am free. Do it because in general, everything is vanity. So you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to go and break a bank just to follow. If you know that's your job that you're doing and it's earning you putting food on your table, please continue with it. Be consistent with it. One day that promotion will come. One day that uplift will come. The third on my list is extra carefulness. Extra carefulness. Respect your instinct. Now, if you're like me, like I told you, I'm living in a compound and my father-in-law is a polyg polygamous man and my husband is his first son and no mother-in-law. So, Unumano, what is bound to be happening in a polygamous in a polygamous family? So if I hadn't been careful, there are a lot of things that would have gone wrong. But because I was careful enough, I hindered it. When I mean careful enough, I mean guys, a lot of diabolic things that I don't want to share here on this channel. But I was careful to the extent that I don't leave my slippers outside when I'm going to, uh, when it's time to sleep at night. There are a lot of things that I don't want to share, but I want you to know that you have to rest. If you're, if you're making a travel now and you, you'll be like, nah, you're going to be like, nah, you're going to be like, nah, you're going to That is your instinct telling you not to go. Respect it and stay in your house. That is your instinct telling you that that journey is not going to be a favorable one. Just stay in your house. So please, I have learned to be very careful and also respect my instincts. I hope you do too. Honestly speaking, I hope you do. Now the fourth on my list, okay, the fifth on my list is be yourself. Hmm. Guys, this be yourself. See eh? You have to be yourself. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. Do not displease yourself just to please somebody. If you do it, you're on your own. Imema, nobody will like you. Gimenjo, nobody will like you. So just to be yourself. If you're that person who doesn't throw less shit, let them know you don't throw less shit. If you're that person who doesn't want to gossip, let them know you don't want to gossip. If you're that person who is extrovert, let people know that you are that type of person. If you're an introvert human being, also let people know. Don't displease yourself to please somebody. Be yourself. That is one thing this compound and this year have taught me. Always be yourself. Do not displease anybody because they don't even care. Those people you are trying to please don't care. They must even be the one trying to backbite you. They must even be the one trying to trying to sell you out. They must even be the one trying to lure you into danger. So please, always be yourself. This video is getting too long. The last on my list is, we only live once. We only live once. Enjoy yourself. Golibendo, Uronyo Ringo. Yes, if you have little, uh, little spare time for yourself, go and have fun. Go and enjoy yourself. Go and marry. Honestly speaking, we only live once. I am using my mom as an example. Yes, because she is dead and gone. Mary the 25 this year, my mom doesn't know. Makageri New Year, she doesn't know. If you are killing one cow in her compound now, she doesn't know. If you are killing 10 cows, and my father's compound now. My mom doesn't know. So we only live once. While you are alive, enjoy yourself. Yes. So that you will not have yourself to blame when you are gone. If you are gone, you are gone. Yes. I don't know. Some people say there's an afterlife. But if you are gone, comes judgment. You will be judged. You go to heaven. You go to heaven. You can't sleep in hell. So enjoy your life while you are alive because we only live once.
thank you guys for watching i do hope you found this my video informative i do hope you learned one or two from this video always be yourself and remember we only live once don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bells like the video share it also so that people who haven't seen it will see it and of course i'll see you guys again in another video bye